Today we're going to install the Truck Sport tonneau cover from Truxedo on this 2019 Ram 1500 with a new body style. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is install the bulkhead seal on top of our bulkhead. Now, if you have a plastic drop-in liner that wraps over top of the bulkhead, you don't need to use the seal. If you have a spray-in liner, you're going to attach this seal to the bottom of the seal on the cover itself. So what we're gonna do here on this truck, since we just have a painted uh, bed, is I first wiped everything down with rubbing alcohol. Now I pulled this away and we're gonna stick that to the top of the bulkhead. Now. I'm keeping this uh, as close to the inside of the bulkhead as possible as I lay it down. Let's pull it in nice and straight. And when you get to the other side, cut it tight to the other bed cap. Once that's in place like so, go ahead and pull away the seal protector. Now we want to go ahead and set our rails in place. Now this is the passenger side rail. Uh, you can identify that by the Velcro is going to face towards the outside. Uh, you're going to have a rounded corner piece up towards the cab. Um, and then on the bottom side, you're going to have a piece of foam seal. Now at the end of that foam seal, where that rounded corner piece is, you're gonna find in your kit uh, some pieces of seal attached to a sticker. You're gonna pull that off and put it here. Just line up the correct one uh, to that shape. Now we're gonna go ahead and rotate the rail uh, right side up and set it on top of the bed cap. Uh, we're gonna set both of our rails on top of the bed cap for right now. All right, next what we're gonna do, make sure the rail is about even with the bed cap, and we're gonna slide it forward uh, or backwards, whichever the case may be, to align this back edge of the rail to uh, just on the part of the metal where it starts to curve back in. Get that lined up the same on both sides, then we can go ahead and attach some clamps. All right, next what we're gonna do is pull one of our clamps out of our kit. Now that clamp has got a bolt going through it. We're gonna loosen that bolt up, use a one half inch uh, wrench or socket uh, to loosen that up. I like to pull it all the way back to where I can fully open up that clamp. Now once I have the clamp open, I'm gonna rotate it to the side. Let it go underneath the bed cap and then rotate it back. Next, I want to make sure the teeth of the clamp fully engage into the grooves on the inside of the rail. Once that happens, I'm going to kind of pull down on the clamp and tighten it down. All right, now we're going to go about midway up on the rail and install our second clamp. That goes on the exact same way. We're going to go to the front of the rail and again the third clamp and install the same way. Then we'll repeat the same process on the opposite side. All right, next we're going to take our tarp that's attached to our bulkhead bar and we're going to attach it to our rails. Before we do that, make sure that our straps are dropping down into the bed of the truck, not dropping in between uh, the bulkhead and the cab. Uh, you're going to see an opening in that bulkhead bar uh, that will, uh, the corner piece is going to fit into. Make sure that your seal on the bulkhead bar is facing downward, not towards the cab. We're going to go ahead and slide that forward, engage into place, and then slide that. All right, now this tarp can slide back and forth uh, side to side inside this bulkhead rail. So we're going to want to make sure that that is centered uh, in uh, you know, side to side on the cover. Uh, and go ahead also and install the passenger side rail into the bulkhead bar as well. All right, now we're going to go ahead and make sure the cover is centered on the rails and start pulling the cover back. Now, once I roll it back just a little bit, I like to double check, make sure the tarp is kind of pulled tight over top of the rails at the front, and that just keeps the alignment. Now I'm going to continue to roll it back 
As I roll it back, my crossbows are going to lay down into the rails. If I have a clamp that is blocking those crossbows, I'll need to reposition the clamp. Um, I've placed these clamps where I don't have any issues. Uh, once I get back to the very uh, tail, this portion just needs to drop down into the cam latch, rotate down, and it'll lock into position. Uh, now I've just tested the operation of the cover. I'm going to go ahead and open up the cover so that I can in install the seals at the tailgate end. Now you're going to go ahead and get your adhesive seal kit back out, line up the shape that coordinates to the bottom of the cover, pull that off, and set it in place. Do that on both sides. Right now we're going to go ahead and shut the cover and lock it into place. We're going to fix the Velcro on the sides by pulling the tarp tight uh, down on top of the Velcro on each side. Then we're going to test the operation of the tailgate, make sure it engages properly against the seal. Well, that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online.